Hey everybody, welcome back to Linda's Closet. I am officially back on the YouTube with my fashion videos. They're a little different. I used to stand and show you a lot of things and model and, and maybe I'll get back to that. But um, for now, each week we're just going to talk about a trend and what's going on uh, in the fashion world, which is my true passion, if I'm not gossiping about other people. Okay, so we've been talking about the 90s and we've been talking about this resurgence of the 90s. In my opinion, the last great decade in this country, if you want to be really honest about it. And we have shows on Hulu like Pam and Tommy, and we have impeachment, uh, cr American Crime Story impeachment. And so we have this nostalgia for the 90s. So as we talk about, you know, fashion reflects the times and what is going on in the times. Did you know it even reflects the stock market? When the stock market is riding high, skirts are short. When the stock market is on a downturn, skirts are longer and longer and longer in proportion to the depth of the problem or the success of the market. Okay, so guess what's back? All right, so the plaid shirt is back and I'm wearing one and that's, I think, what inspired me to do this uh, video. So the 90s, we had overalls, the Gap was huge. The Gap was run by this gal who ended up running Chanel. She was so successful at the Gap that Chanel grabbed her up and she ran Chanel, I think the first decade of the millennium, if if she's still not there. So the plaid shirt. Um, I remember when it came out, my kids were little, they were playing basketball. My dad wore plaid shirts. So at first it was like, no, I'm not wearing plaid shirt. But I did end up with a plaid shirt, you know, and it was like a plaid shirt and a pair of khakis. I would not recommend the khakis at this point, but uh, you can wear them with jeans. You could wear them with a beautiful pair of slacks, you know. You could wear it under a blazer. It really, it, it really, anything goes now. Um, you could dress it up, you could dress it down, you could wear it under your overalls. And remember, the white t-shirt underneath, which was actually one of my fashion rules, after a certain age, you have to be covered up, not only on top, but underneath as well. So the little white t-shirt is also a product of the 90s. And it really became like the little black dress. The white long-sleeved rib t-shirts, they actually, they actually became popular in the 70s but it was more worn by itself with a short sleeve, kind of an athletic look, um, with jeans. Um, in the 90s, it was more under undershirts, that layering look, okay, that we like, especially when we get older. Um, yeah, now, another trend is, which I'll kind of show you is, I have on a plaid shirt, and then I have a plaid shirt wrapped around my waist, which a lot of, I think, men hate that look. But I happen to love that look. And again, it's a layer upon a layer upon a layer. And it's just a look, right? So it's not, you know, we're not, you know, it's not a kidney. It's just a plaid shirt. So I have to remind myself that, right? Um, yeah, so go out. I, I think you can get them at Bloomingdale's. I'm not sure if The Gap has them. I'm not even sure where I got these two. I think I may have got them at Zara. But, um, and you can mix your plaids. Now, what I have on is a gray plaid with a blue plaid wrapped around my hips, which in the 90s I would have never done. I would have been outraged. But now, kind of anything goes after Patricia Fields and Sex and the City styling. So you can mix, you can match, you can put it with a stripe, you can... You can put it under a tuxedo, you can put it over a dress, you can wear it with a skirt, you can do it with jeans, anything goes, which I love. It's all about what you feel comfortable in, what you feel, like I don't like my clothes screaming, you're fat. Okay, if they're touching my fat, if they're squeezing my fat, they're like in my ear telling me I'm fat. I don't need my clothes telling me I'm fat. I have enough of myself telling me I'm fat, right? And the mirrors, don't even get started with that. So yeah, so, it's all about what's the most flattering, what's the most comfortable, and what you feel best about yourself in that you can walk out with confidence, right? And know that you look good. And then other people will think you look good. Okay. Join me next week. 
for a new video, subscribe and hit the bell.